Well, Governor Cuomo still the focus of investigations into the sexual harassment claims against him and the nursing home scandal as well. And he even got some national political attention just last night. Good evening. Once again, I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Ellis Demler. During an interview with ABC News, President Biden was specifically asked about Cuomo's case. So today the governor was in turn asked about that and other parts of the investigation. Channel 2's Ron Plants joins us live tonight. He is in downtown Buffalo with Governor Cuomo's response. Ron? Mary Alice and Scott, we can tell you that uh, another very brief press conference today, just four questions that the governor took from reporters. The governor talking a bit about the situation with COVID and vaccinations, and also a bit about the state budget, which would normally be the focus right now in Albany. But of course, those investigations are out there, and the governor, for the most part, just brushing off any questions about them. Now, the governor did get his COVID vaccine, vaccine earlier today, uh, at this shot at a mass vaccination clinic in Harlem, and he was joined there by supporters like national rights, civil rights leaders, ministers, and other politicians, like former Congressman Charles Rangel. Now, Rangel said due process was crucial in these cases of the investigation, while praising and thanking the governor for his leadership and also quoting another assembly member that everybody quote should just back off until we get the facts. Of course, last night, President Biden, as you pointed out, when asked if the allegations were proven to be true in these ongoing investigations, he said Cuomo should then resign if they're true and he'd probably face prosecution as well if they're true. So the governor today really deflecting any questions about the investigations. But after questioning some reporters interpretations of that interview, Cuomo finally did say something about it. If you committed a crime, you can be prosecuted. That's true. Uh, but what President Biden said was uh, we should do an investigation. Uh, the question to President Biden uh, starts with, uh, do you think the governor should resign or do you think there should be a review first? And the president said there should be a review. President Biden's position is consistent with New Yorker's position, is consistent with the Siena poll position, is consistent with my position. Uh, I'm not going to resign. Uh, find out the facts and we'll take it from there. Also today in Albany, the uh, state assembly hiring a private law firm to assist the Judiciary Committee with their impeachment investigation. But there are already questions of conflict of interest about that whole situation. There goes a nice motorcycle. Uh, what we're trying to point out is here, people are concerned because a former law partner with that firm, a former partner who's now retired, is actually married to the state's chief justice and as you may recall, she was appointed originally by Governor Cuomo. He originally wanted her to be part of an independent investigation of these matters. And the state attorney general said, no way. We'll see what happens next in Albany. Reporting live from downtown Buffalo, we're in. I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.